Okay, we're gonna do just a, the old standby pheasant tail. Um, we're gonna be using 6 o six hot thread brown Danville size 14 hook. We've got a this is a tungsten bead. It's a coffee color. You can use gold, silver, whatever you want to use. I'm just gonna start wrapping back. Get back to the shank. Give it a snip. Um, we can get some uh, pheasant tail. And I'll get five to six pieces. Um, right here, what I'll do is I'm going to just go ahead and wet. Put them in my mouth and wet them. keep them sticking together and it also when you go to wrap uh, it helps with the wrapping it makes them wrap better so I'm just gonna do one wrap kinda make sure my tails where it wants to be it looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it on down then I'm gonna take it back and wrap it all the way back to where I stopped so you don't have any anything showing then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some some wire, and I'm gonna use ultra wire uh, amber. You can you can use gold. Um, you know any fly you can do variations to, and I, and I highly suggest that because I tell you. You know, just doing a, something a little different that a lot of the fly shops don't have in their boxes. Uh, sometimes that can go a long way. Um, I'm going to stick it in there to the back of that bead and then just start wrapping it down. And go all the way back. And I'm going to kind of build up my body a little bit. You know, I want it to taper up. I also want to close off that bead and make it so it doesn't move. And I'll stop about right there where you want the, the end, and then I'm gonna take my pheasant tail and start wrapping. I'm gonna wrap away from, from me. If you notice, I'll, I'll wrap it around, and then I'll kind of grab it with my index finger just to hold it in place. If you're not using hackle pliers. Um, and then I'm just going to come back and close it off. And I'm going to tighten up my thread and do that again and then just snip off that excess. And then I'm ready to take my um, my wire. I'm just going to wrap try to segment it just right come all the way up and then I might even get a couple wraps just like that just to kind of add a little weight to it and then just wrap all that off and snip it on off Uh, now right here you can do a bunch of different things. You can put, you know, I've seen poop, uh, people put uh, for the hatchback kind of, that's what I call it, or the back. 
or the wing casing if you want to get technical. You know, I've used scud back, I've used uh, pheasant tail, turkey, flashback, so you can kind of really get, do whatever you need to do and, uh, and be a little bit creative. Um, I've got some olive scud back right here. Just some, uh, you know, so I'm just going to take a little snip of that. Because sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes this flash works real good, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you need to go more natural. Uh, so I kind of like to, I'm just going to put some olive scud back in there to do that. Now I'm just going to wrap it in there and then wrap it back to, to where the pheasant stops. And kind of hold it off and get you some uh, peacock hair. I'll get about two or three pieces. And then right here where the white ends, I'm going to just snip up just a little bit of, above that. Just so it'll wrap good. Tie it in. Here, hold it off. Clip the excess, and I'm gonna add some legs. I like to have some legs off my fly. And so what I'm gonna do is get some uh, pheasant tail. Um, I'm gonna use one of these shorter pieces because you know this is. I, I try to use the 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 longer pheasant tail. You can see that. The bigger piece of pheasant tail for for wrapping, and these I'll use the smaller pieces for the legs, um, because you know, or smaller flies. Um, all right, and you can lick them as well to kind of get them to. to get them the same length and I'll just hold them just like this just kind of go in there on both sides and then pinch them and then just wrap them by the boys in and then just snip off that excess I'm going to take the scud back come up And then kind of before, you know, I really wrap it, I'm just going to snug it just kind of like the, with the tail and then kind of pull that thing tight to where it, you got it where exactly where you want it and then start wrapping it. And then just come up, get a good snip, and then just finish this fly off. Then I'm going to get my whip finisher and finish her off. One, two three four five with a nymph I like to at least go two times just to really hold it down tight and there you go that's your pheasant tail um, really great fly you know caught a ton of fish on it um, gotta have these in your box and there you go